just need to get out behind your cage and fill this up up here and let's have a little moss pit. Come on, some of you don't care. I don't care what anybody say about me. Get on up here and let's worship Jesus. Come on up here. Fill this one up. Come on, some of you get on up in here and fill it up. Come on, fill it up. Glory. In case you didn't know, this altar is not only for praying, it's also for praising.
come on and give him glory. If you're not forgotten tonight, come on and give him praise. And you know God doesn't forget about his children. You'll never have to find him for child support. He takes care of his own. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad out of the millions of people in the earth, he's not forgotten about me. He knows me by name. Come on, sing with us. Giants do die. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Giants, they die. Just walk around your territory. Oh, 
Some of you just need to get out behind your cage and fill this up up here and let's have a little moss pit. Come on, some of you don't care. I don't care what anybody said about me. Get on up here and let's worship Jesus. Come on up here. Fill this one up. Come on, some of you get on up in here. Fill it up. Come on, fill it up. Glory. In case you didn't know, this altar is not only for praying, it's also for praising. You need to get out of your seat. I said you need to just get out of your seat.
Thanks for spending time with us today. You know, it's a crazy world out there. A lot of people just don't know which direction to go and everybody's crying for peace and safety and all of those things. The Bible said in the last days it would be like that. And uh, the Bible says that in the last days, men's hearts would fail them for fear, you know, fear what's going to happen next or what's going to take place tomorrow or what does this mean or what's going to happen over here. And, you know, there's a, there's a, you can really get terrified in today's world. You know, there's a peace that passes human understanding. The Bible tells us that. The Bible tells us that Jesus is peace. He's the Prince of Peace. You know, in all of this trouble that's going around the world and the fightings that are ongoing and the terrorism and the economy and gas prices going up and people trying to figure out what are they going to do next with their finances, there is a place where you can go and find comfort and peace and solace and just find an answer. It's in Jesus. You know, being a Christian doesn't shield you from troubles. We have troubles just as much as anybody else does. But we have God on our side and we can run to somebody that can make sense out of everything and try to just, just give us some peace while we're going through a very confused and very mixed up world. You know, God sent his son Jesus to this world and had him to pay a price. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus is the only answer. You know, he's the only ticket out of here. He's the only peace, real lasting peace that you could ever have. Not peace like the world has, not peace for a moment, it's temporary. But I'm talking about a kind of a peace that even though you may go into the midst of strong adversities and lots of troubles, you just can run to God and feel that comfort that God's taking care of you and it'll be all right. You know, coming to Jesus is more than just missing hell. It's more than just making sure you get to go to heaven. It's having somebody who can be a friend with you and somebody that understands and somebody who the Bible says that will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He won't leave you in a lurch and he won't leave you when things are going tough, but he'd be right there. That's a great reason to come to Jesus, you know, just to have somebody that will always be a friend. That's what God wants to be in your life. He loves you. He wants to be your friend. He wants to give you peace and help you just get settled in this crazy mixed up world. All you got to do is just ask Jesus into your life. You know, everybody has sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says everybody's done wrong and everybody needs a savior. Everybody needs somebody to help them through something. And Jesus wants to be that person. That's all salvation is about. That's all being a Christian is about, about accepting God, accepting his gift, Jesus, and asking him to come into your life. And you know, God will do that and things will begin to change around for you. And I'm not saying you're not going to have troubles. I'm just going to say when you go through them, there's going to be a peace. And the Bible says goes beyond our human ability to comprehend or to think about it, beyond our understanding. Won't you come to Jesus? If, you don't, if you're not giving your heart to the Lord, maybe you'll be going, you're going through some things right now. Maybe there's a lot of trouble in your life. God will give you peace if you'll just ask him. He won't force his way in. He's waiting for an invitation. So just... Call upon Jesus. Ask him into your heart and life. Confess your sins. That's rebelling against God. Everybody sinned. Ask Jesus to come into your life and be your God. And God will begin to give you answers. And God will begin to show you direction. And he'll direct you to a church that, where there are people just like you that are every day facing some of the same things you're facing. But they're facing it and they're getting through it. And they're coming through it with a smile and a joy on their spirit. And that's what God wants for you. You know, Jesus is coming again. The signs of the times are all around us. All of these events taking place in the Middle East and around the world are letting us know how close we are to the return of Jesus. And I know you're running out of opportunities and, and chances to come to Christ. So won't you do it today? Before you go to bed tonight, just ask God in your life. It doesn't make a difference how much trouble you're in right now. God can begin to bring peace if you'll ask him. Just ask him into your heart and life. All right? Do it. You'll not be sorry. Look, if you're ever in the driving distance of Richmond and you're around us where we are, we'd love to invite you to come and be with us at one of our services. You know, we got services here on Saturday night called Praise Explosion. It's a powerful service, an hour and a half of just really intense praising and worshiping, lifting up the name of Jesus. And we really know how to enjoy the presence of God around here. So come out and be with us on a Saturday night or maybe on a Sunday morning at 1030 or our midweek services at seven and so many wonderful things that God is doing here right now. And we just love for you to be a part. If you don't have a home church, come on and be with us. Well, until you and I get a chance to meet together, maybe either in this life or the next one, let's rejoice in Jesus. Let's live pure every day, my Christian friend. Jesus is coming. God is watching. Let's live pure.
and, and let's be ready when he comes. Amen. And don't rem- don't, don't forget that God loves you. He always does. He always does. And he always be there for you if you just call upon him. So remember what Jesus did because what he did, you can have victory now. Victory Now is the ministry broadcast of Victory World Outreach Center in Richmond, Kentucky. If you live or are in the metro area, we invite you to come and worship with us on Sundays at 1030 a.m., Wednesdays at 7, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Victory World Outreach Center is just off of I-75 at exit 90, going north on US-25 Lexington Road, three-tenths of a mile on your left. To learn more about the ministries and events of Victory World Outreach Center, visit us online at www.vwoc.com. For prayer requests or comments, write to us at Victory World Outreach Center, P.O. Box 826, Richmond, Kentucky, 40476, or by email at info at vwoc.com. It's our prayer that you may know the revelation the Word of God teaches about the power that Jesus has given you to walk in victory in every area of your life.